So in this video, we're gonna talk about how to build our upper body in more than just water. So there's an easy correlation between how many pull-ups somebody can do on a chin-up bar and how fast they're gonna swim. That ratio of your upper body to your body mass uh, is an easy correlation of who's gonna win a race. So simulating that in the water, we do what most people call wall outs. I tend to call them pull outs. Um, so you're literally going all the way under, straightening your elbows and straightening your elbows. This is the same muscles that you're gonna be using on all four of your strokes. No reason not to engage them here. This is gonna be equivalent to swimming 100, 200 yards of easy swim. So it's a much faster way to work our upper body if we uh, incorporate some of this stuff on the wall, off the wall. So these are um, great ways we can increase our upper body intensity. So you can be simulating a 100 or 200 swim, whatever swim you're doing, and then throw in three, four, five wall outs, uh, 10, 20 for the stronger people. Each person can have a different number, depending on the different levels of the different swimmers. Another option we have is to do actual push-ups. Um, so stronger boys should be up on their tiptoes, girls can be on their knees at first. We want to try to work our way to being able to do tiptoes. Uh, we want to make sure our back is nice and prone and we're keeping everything in good position. Don't start sagging at your belly and do X number and then take a brief rest of any back in the water and back to your swim. So this is a much easier way to incorporate tired upper body training us to swim and use maximum body development up top.